Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to continue our talk about probability. We are looking at two-way tables and Venn diagrams today. So we have this example. Students in a college wanted to find out how common it is for young adults to have their ears pierced. So we have two variables. We have gender and we have whether or not a student has a pierced ear. We can arrange the data in a two-way table. The rows represent the gender and the columns represent the pierced ears. So we had 90, student, 90 total males, 88 total females. There were 75 total students that didn't have piercings and 103 that did for a grand total of 178 students in the class. So let's look at some questions that might be asked of us. So find the probability that a student has pierced ears, that they are male with pierced ears, or find the probability that a student is male or has pierced ears. We're going to call event A being male and event B being pierced ears. So for part A, probability of pierced ears would be probability of B, that would be 103 over 178 pierced ears over the total. Male and pierced ears, that is probability of A and B. We're looking for the students that are in the male row and in the pierced ear column. So we're looking at 19 out of 178. There are 19 people that fit this criteria. And for a male or pierced ears, probability of A or B, we can't just take the number of yes and add the number of males. We can't use that addition rule because these two things are not mutually exclusive. They are not disjoint sets. There are 19 people that fit into both categories. So we can't count them twice. We have to do 19 plus 71 plus 84. That's all the people that fit into this criteria of being male or having pierced ears, probability of A or B would be 174 over 178. So that, that is an example that shows us that we can't just use that addition rule from the previous section, from the previous video, um, unless there are no outcomes in common. These are not mutually exclusive events. We can't just add them together. Here's a Venn diagram showing us what's happening in this problem. So one of these circles represents event A, one represents event B. The outcomes in here are counted twice if we add together. We're counting them from the yellow circle and we're counting them from the blue circle. So those get counted twice and we don't want that. We only want 19 out of 178 to be in here. So a general addition rule for two events, if A and B are two events resulting from some chance process, probability of A or B happening would be the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A and B. That's subtracting off that overlapping part because it's getting counted in both of these probabilities right here. And notice the implication that if the two events are mutually exclusive, if they are disjoint, then the probability of A and B will be zero. There will be no overlap part here. So we're going to look some more at Venn diagrams and some notation. A complement, or I mentioned previously that sometimes you see A with an apostrophe instead of the AC. Two events are mutually exclusive or disjoint because they don't overlap as a Venn diagram. It looks like this, two completely separate circles for set A and set B for event A, event B. S, remember that's our sample space. The intersection looks as such, and we use the word and to go with intersection. 
A and B, we're looking for the intersection of A and B. The union of A and B, A, U, B, is A or B. Union goes with the word or, and that would be everything in A and everything in B. The U is for union. The upside down union symbol is for intersection. You need to keep that straight. So A union B is or, A intersect B is and, it's the overlap. Union is everything. So here we have our pierced ear problem again. We can display all of this information on a Venn diagram as such. 19 in the overlap, 4 that don't fit either category, they don't have pierced ears and they don't have, or they're not males, 71 are male without pierced ears, and 84 are female, or sorry, 84 have pierced ears but are not male, in other words they're female with pierced ears. So here's some notations. In the intersection of the circle, male and pierced ears, A intersect B, there's 19. Inside A, outside B, male and no pierced ears, A intersect B complement. Inside B, outside A, that would be a female and pierced ears, or not male and pierced ears. A complement intersect B, 84. Outside both circles would be female and not pierced ears, or not male, not pierced ears. A complement, intersect, B complement, there's four. You need to be able to do this part and interpret what these intersections and unions and complements and the different regions of these things actually represent. So here is a summary for everything in section 5.2. Pause and look at what's happening here. Make sure that none of these things are coming as a shock to you. If they are, you probably should re rewind this video or look at the previous one and ensure that you really do have a good handle on what these things mean. So with that being said, here is a look ahead. Have a wonderful and glorious day.